Hello, welcome to another week of Sunday School Online edition for 5th and 6th grade for Covenant Presbyterian, Cherry Hill. Let's uh, let's start praying. Lord, uh, help us as we get into your word to know your truth, to know uh, about the salvation that is found in Jesus Christ. We pray, uh, help us, Lord, to pray for each other throughout the week. Help us uh, to uh, listen to our parents and listen to each other, uh, to love one another and to be patient and kind, uh, producing help in us to produce the fruit of the Spirit. It's in Jesus' name, amen. Let's get to our Bible verses. We have the same uh, four as last week. I don't intend to uh, add any others. Galatians 3.10, For all who rely on works of the law are under a curse. For it is written, Cursed be everyone who does not abide by all things written in the book of the law and do them. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 through 10. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing, it is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. But when, oh, Titus, uh, let me give the title there, Titus chapter 3, verses 4 through 5. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, he saved us not because of the works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 15 the saying is trustworthy and deserving of full acceptance that Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners of whom I am the foremost. Now, I'll put a link in the description for last week, 1 Timothy. A lot of the stuff still applies. Timothy is in Ephesus. Paul here is probably very close to the end of his life. Uh, so he's giving final instructions. So I believe this would be after the fourth missionary journey uh, that we discussed also last week. So again, if uh, you want the background for First Timothy, uh, also you um, you want the background First Timothy it feeds into the same almost the same background as Second Timothy, except at a later date. Again, Paul close to dying. So these are uh, we. We didn't have too much uh, to go over today. It's a short letter like First Timothy. Again, like all scripture worth reading, we're just going to highlight uh, the first uh, passage. Basically, what uh, Paul wants to get through uh, to Timothy. So, Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God according to the promise of the life that is in Christ Jesus. To Timothy, my beloved child... Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. So that is the um, that is the uh, opening, the opening greeting. All right. I thank God whom I serve, as did my ancestors. So he's talking about his Jewish ancestors here. With a clear conscience, as I remember you constantly in my prayers day and night. Or night and day, actually. As I remember your tears, I long to see you, that I may be filled with joy. I am reminded of your sincere faith, a faith that dwelt first in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and now, I am sure, dwells in you as well. For this reason, I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God. So take what God has given to you and work it out which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God gave us a spirit, not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. So God has enabled us not to be afraid of anything, but to have power in him, to have love of others and of God and of self-control. One of the fruits of the spirit is being able to control yourself and your evil desires. So, let's go down a little further. Therefore, do not be ashamed of my testimony. That is a constant temptation. Being ashamed of what people will think of you or of other Christians suffering. So don't be ashamed of what Paul is going through, is what he's telling 
Timothy, nor of me his prisoner, but share in the suffering for the gospel by the power of God. So we need to share. There are Christians all around the world who are suffering for the gospel. I'm thinking China. I'm thinking in even India. I'm thinking in the Middle East. I'm th thinking in North Korea. And there's probably a bunch of other places I'm not even thinking of. There's people who suffer even in this country for their faith in smaller ways. Who saved us and called us to a holy calling. Remember what holy means? Holy means set apart. So we're called, we have a set apart calling. A calling that's different. Not because of our works, but again of his own purpose and grace. So why are we called? Not because of anything in us but because of our own purpose, or, or God's purpose, God's purpose and grace. In other words, his unmerited favor and what his plan is, right there in his purpose. Which he gave us in Christ Jesus before the ages began. So even before the universe existed, God the Father had a plan for us in Christ Jesus. And now, which has been manifested through the appearing of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. So, Paul is telling Timothy to hold on to the gospel in this epistle, to keep keep it, to live a holy life, to, to spread the message, to hold on to the faith, to keep obeying, keep loving, have self-control, and to remind him, and this is true of all of us, that we are called to, uh, we, we're called out of the world. We're separated from the world. And we're not separated just to do whatever we want, but we're separated for God's purpose. So pray for each other day and night, like Paul says up here. And uh, stir each other up to good works and, and fan the flame of God's calling in your life to his purposes. So let's pray for that. Lord, we pray for everyone who's listening to this, that they will know to repent, give them the ability to repent and have trust in you through Jesus Christ, so that you may uh, have a holy calling for them that you may set them apart or show the evidence that they have been set apart through their faith that they may have good works that show this faith lord and that they will seek to do your will so that they may um, uh, love to do your will so that they may bring about your purposes in their lives and the purposes for um, the church and the world in general. Help us to stir each other up to good works in this manner. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.